and we're here with Investing Hustler. What's going on? It's going good, man. It's going good. Nice on a nice Can't snowy day. <laughs> I want to try that one more time. Let's yeah. try that one more time. Okay. <laughs> We're with Investing Hustler. What's up? What's going on, man? It's going How's good. How's the weather? The weather's amazing. <laughs> it's, everything's good. <laughs> okay. Life can't be better. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm What's going on, guys? It's Investing Hustler here, and I have with me Aaron from Departures Capital. How's it going, Aaron? It's going fantastic. Fantastic. How's the weather down there? Oh, it's pretty wet. It was snowing in the morning and now it's just wet and cold. So what are we, what are we going to talk about today, Aaron? So I just want to, <clears throat> so I just want to talk about one thing real quick, new development with my channel and I will just quickly share my screen for you guys to see. So I finally launched my VIP trader program this week. Just go to departurescapital.com, click on VIP trader program and I'll just explain it within one minute or less, we can get right back into this video. So it's a report every Sunday. We've got a watch list, weekly summary. It's basically news because I'm a news channel. Oh shit, I'm trying to subscribe to my own stuff. Um, so we'll click on the sample here. <laughs> so basically this is a sample. It's gonna be packed with more information, but essentially we cover these sectors, crypto, gold, technology, cannabis, oil, gas, small cap value, week ahead. And you'll see what's going on in the market, stocks to watch, Basically the same for every sector. As I said, it's going to be more in depth. This is just the sample format. So basically an overcap of the markets and yeah, it keeps you in touch with the markets, the news to expect and stocks to look at. So that's what's going on with me. I've been trying to promote that this week and uh, I'll be giving away a vape pen because uh, CBD five has sent me some free vape, free vapes. So we're going to be giving it, it, we're going to be giving it away to people who have joined the program. And uh, what's new with you? What's going on with your channel? Goals, anything? Um, well, I've surpassed almost every goal that I had in 2018. Initially, when I started my channel this year, my goal was to get to 1,000. Then when I reached that, I was to get to 4,000. And now I'm at 6,000, a little over 6,200. So awesome maybe growth. by the end of 2018, I'm going to try to set a goal to get to 8,000 subs. That's going to be a little difficult, but we'll see. Also, I am going to start working on a course, uh, on a couple courses. It, it actually might be three courses, and you have the option to pick out a course individually, or you could get a whole package plus a mentorship program. And I don't know about the prices or anything, but the courses will be, one will be stocks. Like um, I'm pretty much going to have the viewers updated with every trade that I do when I buy it, when I sell it, or when I, when I place an order. Cause, um, cause I, I do update my, my, my viewers with every trade that I do, but it's usually after I've done the trade. So they can never really, they never really okay, see okay. It until it's, it's already done. Okay. But when I, when I create this course, it's going to be like live updates. The moment I do it, yeah. I'll update it. So that's going to be one. Also, it's going to be like a stock market tutorial. Like, a, like a lot of my, my, um, my tips, like my secrets, like things that I, I haven't talked about yet, or like my plans, my, my investment, like how I do it. And then I'm going to have a second course, which will be like um, pretty much how to get your, monet your, your, your YouTube channel monetized in less than a year. Because I have done I did it in like seven to eight months. I could have done it a lot quicker, but I, I was really slacking throughout the first eight months because um, yeah. I was only posting like one or two videos a month at one point. And yeah, it, for sure. I, if I was posting a lot quicker, I could have got to my goal a lot quicker. So I'm going to make a course on that. And then my third course will be like on reselling. Because um, I don't really talk about it a lot on my channel no more because I've noticed it doesn't get a lot of views. But I've, I've had people request it. But, like, I'm still, I'm still reselling. Just because I don't talk about it doesn't mean I'm not reselling. Like, I got Samsungs. I got iPhones. I got, I got everything. I got video games. So I'm still reselling. And I, I have, like, a lot of secrets that I haven't talked about yet. I, so I'm just going to be revealing everything. And then the pretty much you can... You could pick each course individually, or you could purchase the whole course. And on top of that, you're gonna get a, a personal line from me where I can mentor you. And like, uh, that's only if you complete all three. If if you complete, um, if you only choose one, you'll get the course. And then you you could like email me and stuff, and then I can help you out with it. But if if you get the complete package, then um, then uh, you'll have like my personal number, and like we could like I can mentor you and help you out throughout the whole process. So I'll pretty much teach you how to become an investing hustler. <laughs> <laughs> investing Hustler Academy. 
So yeah, you should call it. I, I think um, it's going to do something with, with becoming an investing hustler, how to become an investing hustler, and like why you would want to become an investing hustler. Because pretty much me, I wake up when I want to. I, I go to bed when I want to. I don't, I don't work for anyone. Like today, I woke up at 9.30 just to check the markets. I put a couple orders <laughs> in, and I went back to bed and then woke up at 12. So yeah. it's like, it's just, it's pretty much giving you freedom, like in life, you, you don't, you'll have a financial freedom and you'll be financially independent. And that's my goal. I want to try to get some people in on it. And I'm, only, I'm not going to take uh, maybe for the full mentorship, I'm, I might only take 10 people because I don't want to have like too many people and then I can't manage it all. And so I exactly. want to see how it goes, but, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for now. Awesome. Awesome. Those are big goals. We should talk goals for 2019. Do you yeah, have any goals? talk goals for 2019. What's your goals for 2019? I'd love to double, double my subscriber base. So let's let's just say 25k. We'll we'll include the last two months. So that would be sweet. Don't don't forget about <laughs> me when you're too famous, man. Of course not. How could I? I mean, even at 25k, you're still 25% of me. Right now, <laughs> right? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, just just belittle me, man. Just belittle. No, no, no. I'm still twenty five percent of the man you'll ever be. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't the. Oh, okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, next year I, I would, it'd be nice to get like double what I have now, so twelve k. I would love, but I'm pretty sure I could more than double it. So like fifteen k, that could be my goal for next year. Other than the developments with our channels, I think we should uh, we should get into like what's going on in the markets today. Why are they red? Why do you think? Why do you think they're red? I think they're red just because um, we're just seeing a little bit more profit taking. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. So we had a, I think it was two or three green days, and then it's it's the marijuana sector for sure is is very volatile. So it's just people collecting their profits. I collected yeah. my profits. I got pretty lucky. I think I collected my profits on Wednesday. I'm actually gonna drop a video on it because I was supposed to drop it yesterday, but I got super busy. Oh yeah. Um, what companies I sold. So I, I collected profits on Kronos on, um, I forget. I, I collected, Oh yeah. Planet 13. I collected some profits cause they shot up and yeah. then, uh, I forget the other company, but I'm, I'm going to be dropping a video on that. So I definitely think it's a lot of profit taking and on top of that. Uh, Apple might be bringing the market down a bit cause of their bad earnings. Yeah. When Apple went down, I think we made a video on it. We reviewed all the Fang stocks and all the Fang stocks went down too. So, Apple went down, Netflix went down, Amazon went down. So pretty much all Google went down. So yeah. it might be dragging down the, the market. And on like, it's just, everything's been kind of bad for the Chinese economy, yeah. too, for the Chinese stocks. So overall, I think it's just, um, it might just be a minor correction and we might see a, a rally starting. Um, I don't, I don't know when, but up until Christmas, maybe hopefully. Yeah. I'm hoping to see, I'm hoping to see good earnings because next week's crucial for the cannabis industry. We've got Aurora reporting on Monday. Now it's either at 10:30, like you said, or it's yeah. after 12. Well, we could show we could show the article. It, yeah. I, I don't. It doesn't. I've never heard of this because uh, usually earnings are announced like after the market's closed. No. Yeah, usually. So right here in this article, it says today is announced that it has scheduled its conference call to discuss the results for its first quarter ended September 30th, 2018. The call will be hosted on Monday, November 12th, 2018 at 1030 a.m. Eastern time by Terry Booth, the chief executive officer. So it does look like we're going to have the earnings announced at 1030 a.m. Um, if you guys want us to do a live stream on the earnings, give us 150 likes and we'll do it i stopped doing 100 because it's too easy so 150 likes per hour, per hour. <laughs> yeah 150 likes per hour or we're not just kidding 150 likes and we'll do a live stream maybe for your channel it might be different because you do have a bigger channel what do, what do you want your your likes to be at uh i'm um, uh, i'll say 200 200 likes okay so 200 for departures capital 150 for me and we'll do the earnings. And um, also, I do want to touch up on some pretty interesting news with Apple and Amazon. So yeah, more yeah, yeah. Apple products are coming to Amazon under a new deal. Okay, in a new agreement between tech giants, Amazon and Apple, shoppers will soon see a selection of latest Apple's products 
on Amazon.com. Amazon told CNBC in this statement. So the agreement means that the latest Apple products like the iPhone XR, XS, XS Max will be available on Amazon. So Amazon and Apple have a history of, of tentatively approaching deals with one another, carefully not to give other an undue advantage. Until last year, the companies were in a standoff over the Apple TV and Apple wanted Amazon to sell products on its site. And in turn, Amazon wanted Apple to add its prime video streaming on the app device. Amazon stopped selling Apple TV in 2015 which CEO Jeff Bezos later explained was to avoid confusing customers who, who would assume Amazon streaming service would, be, would come standard on a device they buy on Amazon, which makes sense. Like, I don't understand why Apple would expect Amazon yeah. to sell their Apple TV, but they, yet they won't af offer Amazon streaming services. So I, I don't blame Jeff. I mean, I've heard a lot of bad things about Jeff Bezos, how he's like evil and like greedy and stuff, but yeah. I don't blame him for that because um, he, he was open to it, but Apple wasn't opening open to that. It'll be interesting to see how, how both companies, they play out next week. So maybe. Yeah. We'll Cause I mean, Apple. that'll definitely affect Apple's earnings. If they are selling on Amazon, that's going to boost their sure. sales. Huge, for huge. Sure. So that's pretty interesting news. Um, how, how is Apple and Amazon doing right now? Let's, we could just look at the charts. So Apple is actually down uh, four, no, 2%. They're down $4 and Amazon is down 2%. So Fang stocks are uh, still down. Um, it looks hey, like- I see, <clears throat> I see uh, what's it called? 10 cents dropping today too, eh? Well, that's a Chinese stock. I'm not surprised. Uh, 18%. Damn, 18% today? No, I saw another stock you're looking at there down 18%. No, it's down to XLY. Damn. Oxley Cannabis down 10%. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting. Actually, I'm waiting for Oxley to drop below a dollar, and I'm, I'm going to um, add to my position. Um, 101. Drip too hard. Yeah, drip. drip. <laughs> Tesla's down. So Apple's down. JD. Every, pretty much the whole sector is down. Surprisingly, yeah. GoPro. Oh no, but that's barely anything. GoPro's up. Verizon Wireless is up. Uh, let's see. What is that? Is that LG? Um, yeah, LG. LG. Is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, LG. <laughs> I think Planet Thirteen is up. One of my favorite companies right now. Planet Thirteen. Alifia Health's down nine percent. Wowzers. Where is Planet Thirteen? Um, Planet Thirteen is up three percent today. Wow. So, uh, MDRM. This is actually a penny stock that I've been watching. MDRM. They're up 18% today. I have a small position in them. Uh, I might talk about it on another video. I didn't really want to reveal that, but I guess that's a little sneak peek to one of the companies. I'm You're down down 10%. Down 10%. Hip is down 10%. Yeah. Solid, Cap solid. Down 7%. EMH. Emerald Health is down 11%. So yeah, pretty much the whole market is red today. Yep. It seems to be a nice red day. So We're going to talk real quick. I, if you let me just share my screen yeah. real quick, I want to show you one thing that's going on with, there we go. So now we've got NBEV down to over 20%, 22.28% today. And they're down because they're issuing more stock pretty much. So they need more money. So they're diluting their shares. Uh, so, so you look at this as a good buying opportunity. Um, the only thing is it looks, well, I want to see it bounce. I want to see it bounce. Cause right now we're just testing this like really heavy support level. If it breaks here, it looks like it, who knows where it goes, right? It looks like if it breaks here, yeah, testing this support, this support, like if we fall below three bucks, I can see it. Uh oh, you yeah, know, it might would suck for it to go back between two and what? Uh, two, two and like one seventy. Yeah. Could happen. happen. We'll see. So you're not gonna be buying no NBEV? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely more attractive at these levels, yeah. but I don't know. Like, I need to see what they're gonna do with their money because once they get that extra money, it's I might, like I might just gamble with it and put like a thousand dollars into it. Yeah. Put a ten percent stop loss just in case. And yeah. uh, Monday, I feel like if, if Aurora announces good earnings and Aurora has a nice green day, the whole market might just follow. No, for sure. Definitely. So I might, before the day ends, so it's 325, I might just put $1,000 into NBEV just to see, just to gamble.
Worst yeah, case let's, scenario, I'll lose 10 percent. Let's see what's going on. Today I added 400 shares to Aurora, so we'll see what happens. I was like 400 shares at 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 these. So I, I'm guessing you're averaging up right now. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll take a, I'll flip a coin, see what happens yeah. with Aurora. I might. I, I'm hoping that the day starts off red on Monday, and then yeah, that that'd be great. Aurora goes down more. It would be nice to see Aurora at like eight dollars and ninety cents, and then I'll I'll, yeah. I'll buy, and that that will be the only way I'm averaging up. Because right now I have Aurora at about seven sixty or something. Yeah, same here. And I don't want to average up, but if these earnings come out. I, I have a really good feeling about these earnings. What do you think about upcoming earnings? What do you think is going to happen? Like, I, I'm willing to take a risk and and go long on it. So I, I think they'll be good. I mean, and the other reason why <clears throat> is because, I mean, we saw the opposite so far. Like, we've seen cannabis shortages. Like, we've seen the places yeah. selling out. So I don't know. I, I think they've got some, like, some news in the pipeline. Like, why the heck else would they be announcing when the market's open? Yeah. Most of the time, if the earnings are bad, the company wants to announce when like the market's closed, yeah. you know, so the investors can digest the news and be like, Oh, it's not that bad. But like if they're, if the, that's pretty ballsy to, to announce if it happens to announce like, during market hours. Cause like, I feel like yeah. think yeah, about it. Can Canopy Canopy announced uh, that deal at like 1030. Like when, they ex exploded. If you, if you remember the new the new, what was it called uh, constellation, constellation brands deal. Brands five billion dollar investment. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the thing I really like about these upcoming earnings. Look, last earnings Aurora beat earnings, right? They did really good in their last earnings. Yeah. And the thing is, in last earnings, they they did not. I I don't think they included the uh, Canamed's earnings. Yeah. They own Canamed, right? Yeah. And then they also own uh, Medrelief. Medrelief. Or what? Medrelief, yeah. And I think they only included like, I forget which company it was, but it was like they included half the earnings for one of the companies and then they, they completely, they just left out. It was either Canamed or Medrelief. Nice. So that was last earnings and they beat earnings without those two companies. So this quarter, they're going to include Canamed and Medrelief in their earnings. So yeah. I don't know. So that this that's the only reason why I think for sure they're going to beat their earnings because now they have pretty much three big companies. Yeah. In one, and last 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 quarter's earnings, they beat it without those three companies. And then this quarter, plus the legalization was like, what, um, a month ago almost. Yeah. Well, even though it was near the end of the quarter, I still think that might have like boosted their earnings a little. So yeah. I have a really good feeling about these earnings. I could be wrong. Uh -huh. But I just have a good feeling. So that's why um, Monday in the morning, if, if Aurora drops, I'm really hoping we have like a red morning. And then when their earnings get announced, they shoot up. So I might just average up for the first time ever, which I don't like to do. So I'm breaking my own rules. But we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes. We'll see how breaking it goes. the rules for Aurora because they just get those views, right? Yeah, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely break those views. I might just... Yeah, and we're live streaming we, that maybe, right? Yeah, yeah, we got to um, <clears throat> we got to stay true to the Aurora fan club, cause like we're just. Oh man, like I drop an Aurora video, minimum three k views. Yeah, I've been trying to switch it up lately. Like T God, my T God video got two k views, but nothing comes close to Aurora. But I've been trying to mix it up, see what other companies work. Yeah, I got a video on Tesla. I got like six hundred something views. Like. T God had 2K, Planet 13 had, I think, almost 2K now. So nothing, Aurora, people just want to see Aurora. Well, that's it for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave us a like. And don't forget, 150 likes for my channel, 250, I mean, 200 likes for Departures Capital's channel. So watch both our videos, give us likes. And if we both reach our goals, me 150, him 200, then we're going to do a live stream for the Aurora Cannabis Earnings. So thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that notification bell and smash that subscribe button. And that's it for now, guys. Bye-bye.